Hi, hello and welcome back. In this video, we are going to see about the daily aptitude day 46 solution. So today's aptitude questions I have taken from the concept of permutation and combination. So we are going to discuss about three questions in detail in this video. So if you are new to this channel and have not subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel for more videos. And also in our channel, we have posted a series of videos for permutation and combination. So I will attach the playlist link in description. You can refer those videos also. So let's get into today's topic. So the first question is, in how many different ways can the letters of the word corporation be arranged so that the vowels always come together? So they have given the word corporation and they are asking us to find the number of ways it can be arranged so that the vowels always comes together. Vowels always comes together means all the vowels should be uh, besides each other. So we are going to solve that question. So the word given by them is corporation. So taking all the vowels in this particular word means O, O, A, I, O. So this is going to be the vowels in this particular uh, corporation word. So we are separating the consonants and the vowels separately. So they have asked us to find the vowels should be always together. So vowels always together means write the vowels in a single bracket and consider it as a single term. In how many ways it can be arranged. So count the number of characters. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 6 consonants are there and this all the vowels should be considered as a single term because all the vowels will be coming together. No, So we are going to consider it as a single term. So 7 factorial. So the number of ways of arranging 7 letters will be 7 factorial. Why this divided by 2 factorial came in? R is being repeated twice. No, So we will be dividing it by 2 factorial. So solving this equation will get the answer as 2520 so this is going to be the first answer and the second point what we are going to do is in this particular vowels it can be arranged in different ways no uh, like uh, what the first term what we have written is o o a i o we have written so the next way of writing is o o i a o it can be or it can be o o o a i so the different ways of arranging those vowels also differ so how many vowels are there? 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So 5 different vowels can be arranged in 5 factorial ways and O is repeated thrice. So 5 factorial divided by 3 factorial you will get the answer as 20. So this is the first term and this is going to be the second term. Multiplying these two terms will give the total number of ways. So 2520 into 20 if you do means you will get the answer as 50,400. So the second question is, how many three letter words with or without meaning can be formed out of the letters of the word logarithms if repetition of letters is not allowed? So what they have given is, they have given the word logarithms. We are going to form a three letter word with or without meaning and also the with no repetition of letters they are mentioning. So no repetition of letters means uh, L is there. No? So L should not be repeated once it is being used. So that is the concept they are saying. So to find the three letter word, what we are going to do is, this is going to be the different kinds of arranging. So arranging means you will be using the permutation and selecting or combination type of questions, you will do the combinations part. So arranging means you will do the permutation. So the total number of uh, letters in the word logarithms is 10. So 10 P and uh, what letter we are going to form. So three letter words. So 10 P3 you will get the answer as 720. This you can do it by the formula or else you can do it uh, with a shortcut call. You are going to form a three letter word. They are saying that it the letter should not be repeated. So the first letter will come from out of this 10 letters. So 10 will come. So after placing the first letter, the remaining letters will be 9. So the second place can be filled by any of those 9 letters. And the third place will be 8 characters. So 10 into 9 into 8 if you do means you will get the same answer as 720. So the last question is, back contains 2 white balls, 3 black balls and 4 red balls. In how many ways can 3 balls be drawn from the back? if at least one black ball is to be included in the draw. So what they are saying is in the back there are two white balls, three black balls and four red balls. We are going to select three balls in random from the back. So and they are asking us at least one black should be selected. So at least means minimum one black, maximum it can be the number of blocks, uh, number of balls what they have mentioned. So it can be one black ball or two black balls or three black balls. So we are selecting three balls. No, out of that it can be any of this combination. 
So if you are going to select one black ball means the total number of black balls is 3. So 3C1 into the remaining balls will be 6 no so 6C2. So one ball is being selected as black means the remaining two will be the other colors no so we are going to take it as the remaining color 6C2 and the next one is two black balls. So 3C2 into 6C1 we are doing and three black balls means totally we are going to take only black balls so 3C3. So solving this combination values you will get the answer as 45 plus 18 plus 1 you will get the answer as 64 so i hope you like this video if you like this video please share it with your friends and if you are new to this channel and have not subscribed my channel yet please do subscribe my channel for more videos so see you in the next video until then stay tuned signing off from you bye take care